then make sheets. It is the plan. Needing silica was actually really big though, because this was the super limiting factor. Christmas is already in the supermarket? Oh yeah. What did I miss the Christmas border here? Wait, what do you mean? Because with this alt recipe. Well. Don't worry about that later. Streamathon, I'm excited. I had fun last year. I hope you guys had fun last year. So this year will be even better. For the uh, Christmas Streamathon, the holiday one. Uh, we did that. Now let's keep going. Actually, hold up. Let's uh, build pipes too. This is where it would be nice to have an overview panel to open up and be like, here's how much plastic you're producing. Here's how much you're consuming. Here's where it's being produced and consumed. Well, our plastic is... It's somewhere. Twelve weeks of Christmas? Basically, ah, no, it's twelve weeks. It's like 40 and something days. This is plastic. Yeah, let, let's go check our plastic production. We are going to need a bunch of plastic. <clears throat> something Something's not right. Well, I mean, we only had 10 overhead, but it's been a while of doing other stuff. So I guess I'm just a little surprised that we haven't built up more. That's capped. Is it 100%? 100%. By now, we should have stockpiled a solid amount of plastic. And we have enough to build pipes with, so it's not the end of the world, but... Went up a bit, went up to 319. I'm showing at 83% efficiency. This one at 84. Used in circuit boards, yep. We're using three circuit board ones. And then we're using one computer one. That's 90. Oh, this is 40. Oh, oh man, I missed the mark. This is not 16, it's 40. is troublesome. This is troublesome. This is 40 plastic. There's a kink in the program because we're consuming plus 10 for the packager. Mm. 
We're making 120, consuming 140, basically. Which means we need to produce more. There's a couple options. We could just summer sloop. But I feel that's a bit wasted because we're probably gonna want to summer sloop the giga the giga mats. We have enough for like four full summer sloops. I think we have like 20 ish or something. So I can't use Christmas or Kings Redheads. My Kings hair up. Or no hair. Which means we're going to have to work around with OCing. Which means we need to bring our batteries. Which we can actually just carry on us now. Oh, we freed up a ton of space. Did I store any plastic in these? Computers. I did not. I should probably empty these out too. There's just like dead mats that I can forget about. Grab the AI limiters. Or the, uh, what the fuck, quick wire. Quick wire is produced upstairs. Shart it. Somewhere here. Oh. There you go. Enjoy. 79 coupon. Those must be a lot of points. Holy shit. Those are a lot of points. Okay, let's go fix the plastic land. Too long have you looked at my sister. You have Christmas all the time, you lose the value and feeling of Christmas. Then that just becomes the regular. Then what's special? You know? Then not Christmas becomes special, I guess. To go back and forth every few years. You know people who do it? What, Christmas year-round? Really? Oh shit, why do we have the Christmas scene on? Oh, is that why you guys were talking about Christmas? Bro, I didn't even notice. <laughs> okay. Plastic. Have fun, Alentia. I'm pretty sure I put the text box below the can, so it's okay. Go back to the Christmas seat, I miss it. Never. Okay. So we have... The issue of oh, stems here, right? We ideally need one... I mean, if we can crank this to 160, that'd be good. So it all has a trickle-down effect, though, every time. If we increase this by 10, we will need another 120 polymer resin. Right now, we're balanced for polymer resin. To get more polymer resin, we will need... How much did I say? 90? We will need 15 each from these. To 
get 15 of these, we will need more oil. We can supply a little more oil now with the T2 things. We can crank this to 600. Is that enough? I don't know. Like, what's the output needed here? To get to 40 or 55? Ten oil per minute from six of these is six sixty. We only have six hundred. This is a problem. this to what its limit would be, which is, so this goes to 600, each one of these in, uh, take 100 input, which is what? 166.666. do that, these all produce 50. If these all produce 50, we have 300. Right? Wait. Let's work backwards. Like, we're going to have to go fuck around over there for sure. Alright, so we will need... This will be 120 polymer resin, right? Let's just see here. 40. Yes. Correct. So we'll need 480 polymer resin altogether. In order to get this to 160. Which will cover our... 40. Well, actually, I have an overhead this time. Alright, so this needs to be 40. This needs to be 40. This needs to be 40. So puggies. Okay, now that means we need 480 polymer resin. Four hundred and eighty polymer resin. Let's put this back to 133.33. We are currently getting 240, 40 times 6. Alright, now we're getting 120 on this. We're getting 360 of 480. Yeah, there's a power line here. Oh, these are already pretty cranked. <coughs> Jen Ellen Tia. So we're missing 120. What happens if we crank this? How I many? You can crank this and get. An extra 30, 60. And then do an extra 60 there, and that's 480. 
and then we'll have to deal with the fuel output after that. Right, because here we're making 240. We're consuming 120. So we're 120 overhead. Now if we crank this all the way, it's going to take 600 oil per. And it will indeed make 300. So we have 300 polymer resin here, of which 120 is getting consumed. That leaves us with the 180. No. 75, 300. And yes, 120 is getting consumed. So yeah, it leaves us with 180. This oil, this is consuming 600 oil, so this needs to get cranked as well. Like that. another uh, so this was 240 plus 180 I know the end game has a calculator just easier to kind of have two different windows open so we need to produce an extra 60 for the 480 that would go here which it currently is 120 times 4 that 60 comes from putting these up to uh, up 10 each. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that's 60 right there. So this will go to 183.3. Not a 65, I lied. What 50 is that? It's uh, 166.6666. Put all of these up to 166.66666. In. producing 50 that's 300 plus the 180 coming in this is taking 600 oil which you have to make sure this is overclocked to 250 it is now what that means is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 16 well what that means is we now have to deal with the fuel dump we are currently producing fuel here for 66.666 times 2. Uh, sorry, times 6. That's 400. Each one of those stations takes 20. So we would need 20 stations. We need four more stations because we already have 16. So we need four more of these here. Wait, can we transfer that much liquid? We're producing how much? Oh, it's 399. Easy. 600 pipeline capacity. Bro, this is, my, this is gonna be our first time like building in the air like this. This is super cool. The game is like a whole different perspective all of a sudden. So we want all of these. So we got one here. Two. This is 
super sick. Being able to build from the sky after all those other hours. Not being able to build from the sky. there and that goes there very nice Let's connect this pipe here and this pipe here you gotta connect power. What do the uh, level three ones take? Oh, the stupid circuit boards in front of them. I think it's like when you when you click power line, it instantly defaults to level one towers. Is there any way to make it default to level two towers? You guys understand what I'm saying? If I press 2 and click on this, this tower is a level 1 tower. Any way to make it a level 2 tower? I mean, not that it matters for these, to be fair, but... Yes. Okay, care to elaborate a bit? <laughs> no connection. No. Okay. So this should be good now. So once again, we were making 400 fuel per minute, which is 20 factories. We had 16. We had four. Perfect. We gotta go out a couple on the other side now, too. When in the build menu, hovering the MK2 just under the button bar number you want to. When in the build menu and hovering the MK2 just under the button bar number you want to be assigned to. Wait, what? I'm not talking about the poles, though. I'm talking about the, the, the power lines. A, why did you change your color? B, you're a disgusting plebeian. Wait till Can't Tiger sees you. Like, like, I, I don't want... I already have MK2 on my bar. That's not what I want. If you, if you try to connect power to something, when you extend it, it, you know, it builds another pole by default. But the pole that it builds when you try to extend a power line is always a Mark 1. Is there any way to make that a Mark 2? is uh, my question. I want to build on land over there. Fit like two in here. Well, actually, hold up. How many do we need here? Same thing here. So we have 100 times four. We're producing 400 fuel. Uh, it should be the same thing, right? Producing 400 fuel. And we have 16 things, so we need four more. Oh, it duplicates what you're extending from. Okay, so we just have to go around upgrading all of them. I got you. I'll just extend here. Okay. This game was already very enjoyable. It's just become like 10 times more enjoyable now that you can float around and build like this. Oh, shit, dude. Like, actually. Game changer. 
A literal game changer. But even the building itself, like if I click off the building, it makes a rank one. That doesn't make sense. I just got a cheeky extra 2,000 power as well. That's nice. Now, we had 30 plastic plus 30 plus 30, 90. We had 40, that's 130 for the computers. And we have an extra 10 here. Not here, I lied. Here. Actually, we put it down to four, but not even 10. So we're consuming 134, and we're producing 160. One thirty-five. I'm producing 160. So we're producing 25 extra plastic per minute now. Okay, plastic solved. Good. Now shuck my car. Back to the base. No, I'm not I'm not hitting the EU. I was just wondering if there was like a perma setting you could do. Be like from now on always auto build mark two pulls. Back to the steel ingot. Steel screw, biocool molded steel pipe. right now. <coughs> Thinking of that while eating broccoli. What the hell is that? Grass Lord? Just rust rave things. here. 